Namaste, I'm Barbara Besser. I live in southern New Mexico. I'm here at the Divinity Within Expo in Albuquerque, New Mexico. It wouldn't be a trip to New Mexico without my sharing with you a little of the desert. So a lot of my work comes from the desert. I work with mixed media materials I find on the desert. I have uh, this hat here that I call Desert Rose. And it's made with things I found, a bone, desert, uh, devil's claw, and some finding some old tin and pieces that I found in my hiking in the southern desert. I work with rocks and energy that is from other realms of understanding, sometimes called star beings. So the energy that I work with is very loving, very connected to very high loving energy, thoughts, connections, and uh, I'm just very blessed to be able to do this so, in this hat. So, thank you. And, then, and what I'm doing here is those that are guided to come speak with me, I speak with. And in the speaking, there's a healing. Am I healing? Yes, I am. This body. Are they healing? If they are so inclined, yes, they are. It's not me healing them or them healing me, but in the communication. And it's very, the communication is very, we're, we're losing that in this uh, industrialized, uh, electronic, aided communication. We are, we're losing the human to human contact that is necessary for our growth, for our understanding. And you've, we see that and how people react to other people because they don't see them as a reflection of themselves. <clears throat> they see them as the other. You see, they say, that's them, it's not us. But there is no them in us, there is only us. I'm Jim Van Hoos, and I'm here at the... Divinity. Divinity. I don't, sometimes I don't know where I am, so yeah. don't mind me. <laughs> what do you have there? This is some of my uh, artwork, and what I do is I, I both photograph, use a photograph a sketch tool, and then I do painting and Photoshop. So, for example, this right, this piece right here, this gold eagle was actually, I captured him on top of a bunker years ago. And then the mountains were the background of our land, and so I merged the eagle in with the mountain. In front of shop. I see. And this next one? This next one is a standard photograph of the flower, began that way. And then I manipulated the background and the other parts of it so that it ended up in a painting type look. And this beautiful one. This one, again, once again, this is actually uh, made from two photographs. One of the butterfly and one of the flower. And so the flower, the flower one was done in a studio, and the butterfly was just on a tree. Thank you, Jim, for this beautiful gift that you have given us. Mom, would you like a Well, yeah, and my business is called Trailblazing Transformation. I'm, I'm based in Santa Fe. Um, I, I mean, I think of myself as an artist and a soul artist, um, and I have come to all the tools that help people by way of needing them myself. Um, so, I mean, originally I started out with pain in my neck and shoulders. Um, many, many years ago in the early 90s, maybe 1991, and, um, and I couldn't get to the root of the pain and I couldn't get rid of the pain. And then finally I found hypnotherapy. I had one hypnotherapy session and that um, went to the root of the pain. And so that's led me on a wild ride and finding Theta Healing. 
um, has been part of that one. So we're here with Bernal, and she is the organizer of the Divinity Within Expo. Uh, we wanted to hear from her a little bit about what this is really all about. Wow. What it's about is just getting together all the heart-centered people, loving people in one place and doing all kinds of healing modalities and, and um, products and, and just sharing and, and loving and having a good time with the spiritual friends. And you're right next to Ivana. Yeah. So Ivana, how are you doing today? Yeah, so tell us a little bit about what you've been doing this beautiful day of Divinity Within. Well, I was to try to share my uh, healing uh, the, uh, abilities and I'm working on a synergetic core technique, what is the combination of several healing modalities including shamanism, including the hands-on healing, Reiki, uh, the geotram uh, and all the combination that I call the synergetic core technique because with all those techniques I'm going the, to the core of the issue and um, I was sharing my ability and my technique with the people who were with it and it was very wonderful I think. Could you tell us something about the crystal, the bigger crystal that uh, you have with it's you? My, it's my friend. <laughs> it's your friend? It's my friend. I thought I was your yeah. friend. Oh, she's a... You are my sister. I want, you, okay. I want you to name it. It has a name? No, I don't have a name, but it's a male energy. And actually it's a charge by the photon energy. That mean that have the about the Bovis life force energy unit that I think is measuring about the 30, 35K. Um, and um, communicating actually with this one that was a given to me by the David and this one he just come to the one day to me and he said I have to give you that crystal for some reason I don't know why and later on I find out this one is a female energy and I call that stairs to the heaven because that have like a stairs in the heaven and that is a male energy and how that works I so many times I hold this one and this one receiving, like steps to the heaven, open the gate, and this one the giving the healing to the healing. Thank you. You're welcome. We, we can't help but notice that there is a very interesting stone and cross that yes. Vernell has. So Vernell, can you tell us about that? Oh, I sure can. This is a Shambhala healing tools. It's called the solar form. And I just wear it all the time. It brings me peace and love and all kinds of good things. All of their healing tools are, are healing and balancing and it just gives you a good feeling. That's why I smile all the time. <laughs> Thank you. That's why we love you all the time. Thank you. Hi. I'm Brother Francis. I'm here at the Divinity Within Expo. We've had a beautiful time today, a great time, a wonderful experience. I do a lot of things, but I want to introduce you to new style of art that's uh, developing called Eye of the Spirit. And so as an example here, we have various prints going on that were done on computer. Many of these uh, were done using what they call Microsoft Paintware. A few of them, like this one here, was done on an iPad. There's so various different formats that you can utilize. I also do paintings. One of the paintings I want to show you, or two of the paintings, is something brand new that's coming to me. So, for example, there's a new project coming that I'm doing called Gem Zayats. So I want to show you these. And Gem Zayats is eventually will be done, as it says, using gemstones. These are the kind of items that you see on here are the uh, shells that come with... Uh, what they call the wands, the sage wands, those beautiful iridescent shells are broken up into various pieces and placed onto the faces. The paintings are done first though and being able to capture the spiritual beings that come to me during meditation or other times of the day or evening. These two here being prototype number one and two came to me after an electrical storm this summer and their faces showed up around me and they asked me to more or less immortalize them onto canvas.